Hi, darling. Had a good day. Yes, thanks. I've got the sack. Lovely. <laughs> what? Are <laughs> oh. oh, you being funny? You've been sacked. Which do you want me to answer first? No, stop it, William, because if you are being funny, it's not very funny. I damn near broke my neck out there. What do you mean, you've been sacked? I have been sacked. I went in and he said, you're sacked. So I've been sacked. In French? Well, being sacked's the same in every language. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's not the end of the world. Well, is it the recession? Yep. And the rule is, last in, first out. I was last in. What are we going to do? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> Bonsoir, Madame Remelot. <laughs> Let's talk in beyond a brochure. Yes, oh, dear old Madame Remelot. You know, we won't be able to afford to keep you on any longer. Won't be able to help me with all the little jobs around the house, like pe You haven't done this one. <laughs> oh, a beautiful woman, I had a crazy dream about her. You and I were more common wise, and she was Glenda Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel all hollow inside. Well, fill yourself up with that, then. I bet you do as well. You're just putting on a cheerful front, but deep down, you're all pent up. When you get to my age, you've seen enough of business not to get pent up about anything. J'en ai marre de vous dire. Can't you bloody not? Sans sale du trio interdit not allowing. I don't give a stuff about your hose pipe or your bed. Ouch. Monsieur Fields, I am mayor. You are King Kong. Hey, oh, hello. Right, so you said quite a lot. I'm glad you weren't pent up. You might have lost your temper there. Don't you start. Sorry. Look, could I cash my post office savings in France? No, you don't have to raid your piggy bank just yet. <laughs> anyway, when I joined the firm, I made sure they couldn't get rid of me without a handshake. What? A golden handshake? Well... Gold-plated handshake? You're getting warmer. Try brass. <laughs> Never mind, darling. Look, with your experience, you'll probably be headhunting. I feel as if I have been. <laughs> and scalped. Thank you. <laughs> You didn't do anything terrible, did you? Like what? Well, like letting down the Bosch's tyres or <laughs> putting a brick through the window. I mean, to get the sack, you need to have done something pretty awful. Well, it wasn't exactly the sack. I mean, in polite circles, they call it redundant. Oh, redundant! Is mm. that all? Oh, here's me getting worried. <laughs> <laughs> well, the result's the same. Yeah, but it's a much nicer word, isn't it? Redundant. I mean, it's more dignified. A bit like resplendent. <laughs> Yes, and I shall be resplendent until I get another job. Oh, 19 soixante-douze. Hi, Ma. Hi, Emma. It's Emma. Are you going to tell her? No, no, no. Why? No. How is everything in Barnes? It's fine. We're looking after the house for you. Oh. Sonia been popping in. <laughs> She's hardly ever out. Why didn't you ring at six, like always? Oh, sorry, darling. Something cropped up and it put it right out of my mind. Now, how are you feeling? Not long now, eh? Got your case packed? Yeah. Oh! I wish I could tell it to stop kicking. Oh, well, you can, you know. Unborn babies can actually hear what we say. Somebody was telling me this the other day. That was me, Mum. Oh, was it? Oh, sorry, my brain's gone. A bit late in the day, sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, darling, moustache, and I'll ring you this time, this time tomorrow. Well, can't we have a chat now? No, no, your, your dad's complaining. Oh, what? There he goes again, you see. <laughs> anyway, darling, love to Peter. Bye. Why didn't you tell her? You're going to have to do it sometime. I didn't want the baby to overhear. <laughs> Poor little thing. I mean, finding out it's got a redundant grandfather before it's even born. I don't think it understands English before it's born. No, no, I suppose not. Might understand French, though. 
Oh, so I think it was conceived here. When? Well, you know that time they came over and they weren't talking, and then the next morning they were? Mm. That's when. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it French? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it ought to have a French name. What, like Bonaparte? No, no, it's not going to be he. Oh. No, it's going to be a girl. How do you know? Oh, well, girls start kicking much later. Boys start kicking early, and uh, some of them never stop. What, footballers, you mean? <laughs> no, apart from that, uh, you know, she, she was always ill when she was having Guy, and this time she'd been fit as a flea, and she's carrying the baby much higher. And the night they were here and had the argument, if you remember, there was a hailstorm. <laughs> so it's obviously a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So girls are always conceived in a hailstorm, are they? Well, I thought everyone knew that. It's an old wives' tale. Yeah, I didn't know the tale, but I sure as hell know the old wife. <laughs> Bonjour, William. Bonjour, Chantal. I hope you don't mind my asking, William, but uh, you spend quite a lot of time in the garden these days, so I was thinking... Go on. Spit it out. Could you cut my grass for me? I'll do that for you, milady. I'll pay this, bien sûr. Oh, don't have to do that, milady. I'll have payment in kind instead, eh? <laughs> you do be Lady Chatterley, beat you, eh? I'm sorry. <laughs> Certainly I'll cut your grass for you. Our job's my middle name these days. William! Here she comes. <laughs> Take that barge, lift that bale. Yes! <laughs> I've got Monsieur Dax here. He wants something, but I don't know what. It seems important. I'm not cutting his grass. He's got 500 acres of it. <laughs> I'll see you later. How are you, my dear? No. Give my regards to the big city, eh? <laughs> see you in the shed later. <laughs> he's coming. Come on. Uh, he's coming. He'll, uh, he'll, uh... In? Yes, he'll, he'll be here in just a jiffy. <laughs> ah. Ah, ah, bonjour, Alphonse. Ça va? Ça va. Ça va? Well, ça va. <laughs> Excuse me, but I've never really known what that means. Well, he asked me ça va, so I told him ça va, and then I said ça va. Ça va? Oh, ça va. Yes, <laughs> I heard you, but what does it mean? Well, blessed if I know, really. It sort of clears the air, I suppose. Well, not for me, it doesn't. Oh. <coughs> Monsieur Fils, uh, en tant que maire de cette communauté, je regrette que vous soyez au chômage. Oh. Uh, what, what's he saying? Uh, Speaking as the mayor, he's very sorry that I'm unemployed. En tant que propriétaire, votre propriétaire, j'éprouve une grande tristesse. Oh. Speaking as the landlord, he's heartbroken. Pourtant, however, en tant qu'ami, speaking as a friend, permettez-moi de vous offrir mes condoléances à cette bouteille. Oh, oh hey. merci. Oublions le, le loyer pour le moment. What? He's cancelled the rent. Oh, no, Ren. Oh, you are oh. très thoughtful. Oh, <laughs> you are a real sava. Sava? Oui, sava. Oh, quelle generosity. We are beaucoup chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scotch. Merci. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Voulez-vous scotch? Hein? Ah, scotch. <laughs> Not at 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I? come on, darling. I mean, salt of the earth, this man waving the rent. You wouldn't find any landlord in England doing that. Was it très gentil, Alphonse? No, 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 no. Mais, uh, à propos, quand même, est-ce que vous pouvez peut-être me donner un petit coup de main avec ma TVA? You crafty devil. Now what? He says, since I appear to be at a loose end, would I like to give him a hand with his VAT? <laughs> Who'd be an accountant? Okay. <laughs> Santé. No, I'm not mowing your grass. Cheers. <laughs> Uh, these no smoke on dude? Ah, oh, Hester, dear, is that you? Oh my God, it's Gan Gan. <laughs> Hello, Margaret. Uh, where are you calling from? Oh, Henry and I are here in Barnes with Emma and Peter. She's in our house. Well, tell her to get a move on. I'm paying for that call. <laughs> so sorry to hear William's been given the push. Push? Frightfully <laughs> upsetting at his age. Tell him he must keep his pecker up. Pecker up? <laughs> Well, it's lovely to hear from you, Margaret, and I will give William your good wishes. Henry and I have been choosing names for our grandchild-to-be. Uh, it's our grandchild-to-be as well. <laughs> How do you feel about Henry? 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 <laughs> Henry? 
Look, we've got one Henry in the family. I think that's quite enough, thank you. As a matter of fact, I think it's a pretty stupid name for a... Why did you do that? Because I felt you were just about to blow your top. I was, I was. Do you want a grandson called Henry? I thought you said it was going to be a girl. Oh, she's in our house on our phone, awaiting the arrival of our grandchild. She wants to be in at the birth. But it's not due yet. Oh, well, it, it could be premature. Now, what is the crop like on the new potatoes? Eh? Hmm? I mean, are there more this year? Well, yeah. That's it, then. It's going to be premature. It's a sure sign. Oh, Hester! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Gangan -gan is not going to be in, in on it this time. No, never, 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 never. I am going there. I am going to London right now. I'll get the 115 ferry and I'll phone Emma from the dock. Now, you must excuse me, Monsieur Dax. You've been very, very kind about the rent. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't say that in French, so this is for you. Mwah! Saba. <laughs> you are going to be born out of your skull in London, twiddling your thumbs. Well, why don't you come and twiddle them with me? I'm not hanging around waiting for a baby not to be premature. I've got better things to do. I've got to find a job, for one thing. You forget, I have got to pay for two houses. Yeah, well, here's my knitting. <laughs> oh, please. Oh. Thanks. Wait, oui, hello. Oh, William, it's you, you poor thing. Poor oh. thing. What now? Well, I thought that Hester sounded rather tense, and you must be very down in the bow. So Henry and I are coming over to cheer you up. <laughs> are you still there? Yes, yes. When, for heaven's sake? Now. Now? Now? Oh, right. Terrific. Bye. Where's my suitcase? Why? I'm coming with you, that's why. Right. Ah. Oh, sorry, darling. Time to wake up. We're almost there. I've only just got to sleep. Oh, look up on those cliffs. Look, people. Yes? They're up there being English, oh. just like you and me. Oh, if they were down here now, I'd be able to understand every word they said. I'd understand them fluently. You sound as if you've been on Devil's Island for 25 years. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll understand them. <laughs> when all passengers pay to join their vehicle, there's very little <laughs> Oh, oh, darling, have you got the shopping list? Yes. Mm, I want to add something. Oh, no more. This rate, I'm going to have to get a new notebook. All right. Come on. Far away. Well. Um, I don't know what you call them, but it's one of those gadgets. So you can't get them in France, but you oh, dig them into a what? melon and you scoop out a little round ball. You dig them into a me... a me... Oh, I've run out of ink. Well, just write down new pen. <laughs> oh. oh, look. What? Litter. Litter, you bad. Well, not bad, considering the traffic. And you're driving? What do you mean? I don't remember any awkward moments. Of course you don't. This is a left-hand drive car. We are in a right-hand drive country. Every time you do something wrong, they think I'm the driver and it's me that gets the two fingers. <laughs> oh, oh, Em, hi. Oh, everything all right? Yes, fine. Hi, sweetie. Uh, where's little guy, then? Oh, no, don't tell me. Sonia's popped in and borrowed him. Well, he is next door, yes. He's playing with her nephew. Yes, promise me you won't have twins. She'll start a play school. <laughs> well, here we are, back in the old homestead in Barnes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And there's Emma, sitting curled up in her armchair, pregnant, just like she used to be when she was at school. Hey, star. Well, curled up, I mean, not pregnant. Oh. Well, here you are, then. <laughs> Gosh, you know, Gangan -Gan and Ganfley are going to be awfully disappointed when they get to France and find you're not there. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, Hester was convinced the baby was going to be uh, premature. I couldn't keep her away. No, so, so we left the key under the mat and uh, plenty of food. Under the mat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were so keen to cheer Dad up. Yes, well, they did. <clears throat> we passed their ferry halfway across the channel and he laughed his head off. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Peter. <clears throat> uh, anyone for a drink? <laughs> Don't all shout at once. Uh, excuse me, William. Yes? That's my bottle, as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, 
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's awfully <laughs> warm in here, isn't it? Have you got the central heating on? Yeah. What, in the middle of summer? Uh, Emma said she was cold. Well, why didn't you give her a hot water bottle? Hell of a waste of money, isn't it? Putting on the central heating? Excuse me, William. May I remind you, we are paying you rent for this place. <laughs> not the full whack, you're not. Oh, you can't be mercenary, not with the family. Hester, may I remind you, as a member of the unemployed, mercenary begins at home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it wasn't that funny. <laughs> no. I think I've started. Oh, what? didn't I say? It's all those new potatoes. No, I'm sure it's the baby. Oh. I knew it, I knew it. Get the car, get the ambulance. And um, which should I do first? Where's my case? Well, okay. you get your car as well. What, two cars and an ambulance? What's she having, triplets? Oh, come on, breathe, breathe, breathe. Well, Gerald, I'll, I'll give it a thought. <laughs> now that I've got to support another grandchild. She's already hitting the bottle hard. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll keep in touch. Right, bye. Who's a buff of little diddums then? Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> no, I, I bought her down to give Emma a rest. No, you didn't. You bought her down to have a good look at her. <laughs> well, there we are then, Holly. Holly? Yeah, they changed their mind. It's not Jessica anymore. Oh, I thought it was Michelle. No, no, that was yesterday. Oh. oh. Holly, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we should buy her a little red berry. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it doesn't seem that long ago that we were gazing down on our own little Emma. No, you're right. Yeah. Uh, not much has changed in 25 years, except now it's all paper nappies. Yes, <laughs> damn it. I've got shares in Terry Towling. <laughs> I feel exactly the same. <laughs> so do I. Broke. Oh, you're not broke. You're not even out of work. You're just resting. You're uh, resplendent on your laurels. <laughs> oh, um, Gerald said that there's plenty of work for me here. If uh, we came back to England. Oh, that's nice to know if the worst comes to the worst. Yes, he said I could even have my old partnership back if we came back here. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> if the worst comes to the worst. Uh, uh, decent enough on dude? Oh, sorry. No, no, I don't know what I am. What? <laughs> sorry. Hello, hello. Hester? Oh, hi, Chantal. How's the baby? Very well. And Emma? Oh, blooming. Hester, I have some news for you. You remember the Trendles house? I finally managed to let it. Oh, lovely. But to nice people, I hope. And remember, it's right next door to us. I uh, let it to Gan Gan and Ganfi. <laughs> you what? Chantal? What's happening? Oh, no. Chantal, you couldn't. Well, they do love it here and being retired, they can live where they want. Well, I know that, but it... Oh. I know you don't like them much, but it's the only bits of business I've had in three months. Oh, I couldn't let it go. No, I suppose not. Okay, I won't keep you talking. I'm on your phone. Bye. <laughs> <sighs> what was all that about? Well, you know what I said about the worst coming to the worst? Yeah. It just has. <laughs> She's let the Trendles place to Gan Gan and Ganfi. Dear God! Come to think of it, I never did like France. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Neither did you. Oh, I did. I still do. <laughs> oh, it's all foreign, isn't it? All that kissing and shaking hands and ça va, ça va. Yeah, well, they're just being polite. But it's not sincere, is it? I mean, in England, if you say, how are you, you mean it. Until they give you all the details, then you wish you'd never asked. <laughs> you want to go back, do you? Not with Gang Gun and Gampy there, no. <laughs> It'll be fun back in England with a family and Guy and baby Holly. Well, it beats living alongside Gog and Magog. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. I'll make you a nice English cuppa. With real milk? <laughs> That's one thing that never tasted quite the same in France. It's funny, isn't it? And it's only uh, water and a tea bag. Yeah, but the milk came out of a bottle here. That's the difference. <laughs> you know, now we're back, I realised that I suppose I was always a bit homesick. You know, deep down, there was always that little tug. It's only Sonia. <laughs> Talking of little tugs. <laughs> Sonia, thought I'd just pop in again and have a peep at Ivy. Holly. <laughs> oh, a 
That's right, Holly. I knew it was something seasonal. <laughs> Kitty, 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 uh, kitty. It's her feet at that end. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Doesn't seem all that time ago since Emma was that age. You opened Spanish champagne then, remember? But Sherry will do now. I'm not fussy. Here we go. <clears throat> Sonia, you can't remember what we drank 22 years ago. Oh, I've got a memory like an elephant. That's not the only thing. <laughs> France hasn't done much for his manners, then. <laughs> no. And it's not going to get another chance, either. We're moving back. You're not. We are. Never. Yes. <laughs> oh, I knew this was going to happen. I read your cards last night, and there was a journey over water, a new job, and a big reunion with old friends. Well, I couldn't believe it, so I dealt the cards again, and it was exactly the same. Then John came down because he couldn't sleep because of the storm. And here you see it's all come true. Oh, I can't wait to tell him he'd be absolutely speechless. Well, as long as one of you is. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Was there a storm last night? Oh, yes, and hail too, a real hailstorm. Hail? Really? I didn't hear that, did you, darling? No, no. <laughs> well, if the worst comes to worst, <laughs> at least you know we'll have a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose living in France has made us older and wiser. Well, I'm definitely wiser. And you're certainly... Watch it. ...more beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you're only saying that. It's the Ovaltine talking. <laughs> you know, you're a very difficult woman to compliment. You know that. I mean, not only are you 25 years married, but you're a mother of two, grandmother of two, and you don't look a day older than you did when I first carried you over the threshold. Oh, except you didn't. I did? No, you didn't. You were having an argument with the removal man out the front. About what? Well, he said that if you played the end of the Sergeant Pepper's LP very slowly, you got a secret message from the Beatles. What a load of rubbish. Yes, that's what you told him then. Well, I was right then, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, yes, I was tired of waiting for you, so the uh, driver's mate did it. <laughs> You mean some removal man carried you over the threshold? Yeah, yeah. He said I weighed much less than the average sideboard. Oh. Uh, mind you, that was 25 years ago. Right, that's it. What? Come on. You're still light as a feather. What? I'll do it now. Don't be silly. Oh, don't be silly. I'll carry you over the no, threshold. you'll give yourself a hernia. Come on. Oh, stop no, it. No, no, no. I'll carry you from there and back you, again, well, all right? No, no, you're tickling. No, no come, come on, on. Come on. on. Stop it. I'll pretend I'm Nuria, oh, OK? Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, will you please oh, stop that? What? There's a baby, remember? Oh, so sorry, so sorry. <laughs> now, this has been a nice, quiet house up till now. Let's just keep it that way, OK? we get kept in after school. I am not being dictated to in my own house. Well, you have been for the last 25 years, so why change it now? <sighs> yeah, that's true. Come on, then. Let's get to bed. OK. Oh, and don't wake Caroline. Who's Caroline? Oh, didn't I tell you? It's not Holly anymore. Oh, no. I'm yeah. just getting used to Holly. Oh, what's in a name? We'll change ours. Come on, then, Joan. <laughs> oh, all right. Darby. Hey! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you see, <Dad? laughs> Thank you. 